Just two days ago, Bitcoin was breaking its all-time high, approaching $60,000. Now, two days later, the market's freaking out as Bitcoin sees a 20-plus percent dip. The question on everybody's mind is, should I be concerned? What is up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit that like, hit that subscribe on the way in. It means a lot to me. Let's jump into the Bitcoin video. There it is, six hour chart. Bitcoin right now around $48,000 on this chart. This is the Coinbase chart going as low as, you know, in the 44,000s. Should you be concerned? In my opinion, no. And I'm gonna lay out why in this video. I, and let's start here. I, I kind of want to like rewind a little bit. I really want to lay a very important context, especially if you're new to this YouTube channel, especially if you're new to crypto. I tweeted this like an hour ago. Bitcoin is down around 19% from its recent all-time high. This move is literally the most normal thing Bitcoin could be doing right now. And I, I want to just zoom out before we dig into the six-hour charts and really talk about the short term. Real quick, right before I started recording, I just very quickly went back on the weekly chart and I just charted all the dips that just came to mind or came to my eyesight as I'm looking at the charts. So this was just a month ago, 32% dip, 16% dip, 21%, 63%, 38% dip, 24% dip. How about here? This is the last bull markets, 27% dip, 39% dip. This one important, 42% dip. This was around the same stage of the bull cycle that Bitcoin is in now, uh, but comparatively in that last bull cycle, 42% dip. On its way up, 25% dip. Like weeks prior, 34% dip. As things are getting started out of that last bear market, 36% dip. Do you, do you get the idea? Bitcoin dips. And if you're a Bitcoin holder, if you're a Bitcoin accumulator, I think we should be more grateful for dips than wary because first off we want to see consistency on the charts especially if you do technical analysis you want to see harmony you want to see data reflect itself historically because that means bitcoin is operating and trading as it usually does and therefore is easier to anticipate certain moves and now we start digging in the charts and we can see why that might be so so that's the weekly chart Here's another weekly chart, just as a zoomed out reminder to all of you, Bitcoin just entering the bull market, the bull market doors. And I'm gonna continue just to remind everybody that, cause I gotta remind myself, comparatively to the last bull market, Bitcoin is right around here, uh, this stage, this part of the cycle, but the consolidation is so important. And what I wanna talk about on this weekly chart real quick is the momentum of Bitcoin. The RSI, this middle momentum oscillator that we see, the slower moving momentum oscillator, extremely important in evaluating current data with past data with past cycles. So we talk a lot about Bitcoin as it traded in the last bull market pretty much half of the time above overbought territory. So this time around was nothing new except for right here, we had some consolidation in overbought territory was bullish. That's just showing that people are buying Bitcoin even in overbought territory before even allowing it to consolidate. That's why you see these dips being bought up so quickly on the short term. But even so, we can just look as Bitcoin entered the last bull market through those bull market doors back then, we had one, two, three, four, five dips before Bitcoin went on to its all time high bull market high. Right now, we've had one, two, we've had two dips as Bitcoin has recently entered its bull markets. And so we're in this bull cycle, Bitcoin is dipping, just very similar to how it dipped multiple times in the last bull market. So the one thing I just wanna get straight is this is nothing new for Bitcoin. So if you're new to Bitcoin and you haven't experienced this volatility, you haven't experienced this before, I'm not saying this so that you don't have any caution and you can be like, oh, okay, well, I have nothing to worry about. You still wanna have a strategy. Everybody's different. This isn't financial advice, but the case is there that this is normal, that this is what Bitcoin does. And the, the consolidation of Bitcoin is very healthy. And this is what it looks like now on the daily chart. It was not long ago, everybody, we were going through actually even an even worse dip so far from the swing high, all time high, 42,000 to its ultimate swing low, 
Bitcoin saw a 31% dip. So right now, from our all-time high recently, two days ago, to this swing low, 23% dip. There's still room to the downside. And it's most illustrated with the 50-day moving average. We talk about the 50-day moving average all the time on this YouTube channel. I've talked about it for years. It's, it's you know, I, I double-click it. I go to the histogram just to illustrate the ocean. It's a blue ocean that Bitcoin kind of revisits. It And in a bull market, that's fine. You want to see it revisit. Maybe even a quick dip below, but you want to see it just kind of just spring out of that ocean uh, as it just sees higher highs and higher lows. It's normal. This is kind of, it acts as gravity for Bitcoin. This just happened. Um, so if we zoom in on now on the six hour chart, we can see what happened with Bitcoin. Bitcoin broke out of this rising wedge we tracked, hit the target to the upside almost perfectly, $58,000. And we just just saw resistance right from that target and we just bounced back down. Bitcoin making a very similar move as it did at the last swing high, and that was in January, you might remember. And right now, we're trying to find what we ultimately did find last time around, which is structure. We had structure here, if you remember. We can kind of go to this chart and we can, we can just revisit this. There were multiple symmetrical triangles kind of playing out that we were tracking all in here. Um, here's the probably most famous one across all technical analysis channels and articles is probably is probably this one we got the breakout of the symmetrical triangle ultimately but not without volatility to the downside and you can just see how there's still room down here to this uh 200 uh, moving average here on this six hour chart and i mean that that area is really just very synergistic and harmonious with the 50-day moving average that forty thousand dollar area is a really interesting area for bitcoin support it's what happened last time and we want to watch what bitcoin does if it interacts with that area it might not i don't know that's but we have to track it we have to wait and I, that's kind of what i just been doing lately so that's a that's another move of around 15 percent to the downside what i've just been waiting for is structure and it's so hard to to do any technical analysis now because we don't have much structure here and the same thing happened back here if you remember we wait for structure and so that is where we are right now but what could this look like speculatively what we want to anticipate these things we could get a very similar setup as this symmetrical triangle this continuation pattern in this bull market this could be kind of a future swing low that we use for charting if bitcoin were to make a continued move to the downside right around this uh on, the, on a daily chart would be the 50-day moving average. But if Bitcoin ultimately puts a swing low down there, this could be support for Bitcoin as we get a bounce and we get consolidation. On the very short term though, let's assume as I do this video right now, Bitcoin sees a swing low support right here and we bounce. What we're gonna watch for is what happens with Bitcoin at this Fibonacci resistance area. And that is right around 55,500 to 53,000. 300. Some of you might be like, oh, wow, I would love if Bitcoin can get back above 50,000. 50,000 is like fine. It's a psychological number, but this is the resistance area. You want to see what Bitcoin does, how it interacts with that area. Same exact thing actually happened when we got that last steep move to the downside. Quick bounce back to a exact similar Fibonacci resistance, and we got resistance back below to a new swing low. That could happen. And so we have to let this thing play out if that were to happen. Are you ready for that scenario? On the flip side, if Bitcoin, if, if we see a lot of buying pressure out of nowhere, if Bitcoin continues to upside, continues to have Fibonacci resistance, I mean, Bitcoin can just have a crazy rally to new all-time highs. And we have to wait for that. And what will that structure look like? Maybe getting a new all-time high, 60,000 resistance, back down we have a higher low maybe and we're going to have a lot of volatility even in that case but maybe kind of a continued rising channel for bitcoin right now all we can do is speculate we really don't have any patterns i mean i guess if you zoom in on the six, on the hourly chart potentially there there might be some something setting up but even then so volatile looking in terms of even tracking maybe a falling channel of some sort so right now what i'm doing i'm sticking to the six hour chart i'm watching for uh, structure and that's what we're going to continue to do but all of these short-term charts are kind of besides the point as we wait for that structure what's most important are the fundamentals what's most important is taking note of the fact that these dips always happen and have a game plan at the end of the day have a game plan if bitcoin is to continue to all-time highs 
and not even touch a $40,000 area. Are you ready for that with your portfolio? Are you prepared for that? If Bitcoin is going to continue to a swing low of 40000 are you prepared for that? Is your portfolio prepared for that? At the end of the day, I don't give financial advice on this channel. The biggest thing I could say is don't spend more money than you can afford to lose. Don't invest more money. And at the end of the day, really, truly, if you're long on Bitcoin, accumulating dips has proven to be, it's proven to be the best strategy. It just is. Dollar cost averaging, buying dips, it really is those two two things alone. If you can find a hybrid between the two, extremely beneficial. So those are my thoughts on this crazy dip. And I guess to sum it all up, it's really, it's really not a big deal, everybody. Bitcoin down around 19% from its all-time high. 19% is, is a nothing move for Bitcoin. So let's see. Zoom out on the charts. There's the weekly. Remember what's going on. Remember what, cycle, what part of the cycle we're in. I appreciate all of you. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.